Uh, let's see what the question tells here. The question tells by using all the words of people. So we must take all the words. Find the total number of words can be formed. And also the total number of words in which vowel and consonants appear alternately. First, I will move to question number one. So let's see question number one. Here by using the all words of people. So that you must check all the words. Not something like out of given something you two or four. Not that. You should take all the words of people. And how many words can be formed. And if the question was not clear. Whether repetition is allowed or not allowed. We must assume that repetition is not allowed. Okay. R -E -P -E -T -A -T -I -O -N, repetition is not allowed okay so now let's move here we have given G I V N given p e o p l e so total number of word given words n equals to how much one two three four five six and if the repetition is not allowed so we must not forget that some here in the question some same different same same letters like p is being repeated e is being repeated in the question so you must take and consider that you must not neglect that okay for that i am writing it denoting it with p e e that is our two and q p p whatever variable you can denote it with that's not the problem therefore total number of words can be formed equals to n factorial upon p factorial and the q factorial and so on that will be our 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial so it will be our 6 into 5 <coughs> into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 upon is be 2 into 2 that's our 180 will be our answer so you must remember the uh, this formula so in different cases we have to use different formula i have already mentioned uh, some posted one video of that so you must uh, you can watch it so now in question number two total number of word in which vowel and consonant appears alternately so question number two is a bit in, uh, important you must let's see question number two what it is told the given word is people okay so i'm writing the first the given word the given word is our people p e o p l e and it is told that vowel and consonants appear alternately how many words can be formed in which vowels and consonants should appear alternately okay that, what does that means so this means we have here first of all distinguish our vowel and consonant in this word okay so what are our vowels B O W E L S vowels, then I also what does the question tells vowel equals to our E O and E that is our how many three and the consonant consonants C equals to P P and L that is three okay and the what question tells is like total number of word we have here six so 1 2 3 4 5 6 if we use consonant then next should be vowel consonant vowel consonant vowel this is the way to form the numbers according to question so how many such numbers can be formed also there is a possibility of using vowel first then consonant then vowel then consonant then vowel then consonant okay so this is our way to fill, uh, make the number so how many such numbers can we make so let's make <coughs> let's solve it how we will solve i will show you there are two possibilities either start with the vowels or start with the consonant so in the case one i am starting with the consonant consonant vowel consonant vowel consonant okay so now we have total uh, consonant so arrangement of consonant arrangement of consonant equals to we have three choices to fill okay one two i am showing here we have three choices to fill one two and three so and total consonant we have three so there is the out of three we have to make places to fill is three so three p three similarly the arrangement of vowels arrangement of vowel so how many places are there to fill one two okay <coughs> so it will be our three 
P3. Out of three vowels, we have to place a uh, fill uh, three vowels. Okay. I here one thing is missing at the end. It's a vowel. Okay. You must forget. But consonant vowel, consonant vowel, consonant vowel. So three out of three, you have to fill the three places. So number of such arrangement in the case one. Number of such arrangement equals to arrangement of vowels into arrangement of consonant and you must not forget that in the vowel e is being repeated and in the consonant p is being repeated so you must not forget that okay so here i am denoting it with like p equals to sorry i am denoting with q that will be more easy otherwise it will be confusing q equals to 2 and r equals to p p that is 2 now let's see <coughs> arrangement of vowels is our 3 p 3 and the vowels in the vowels there is uh, e is repeated so 2 factorial into arrangement of consonant is our 3 p 3 and here uh, e is being sorry p is being repeated so that is 2 factorials now let's solve it 3 factorial upon 2 factorial into 3 factorial upon 2 factorial it will be our how much let's solve 3 2 3 to the 6 6 36 4 9 it will be our 9 so in case 1 we have if we take con uh, consonant and first then vowel then consonant then vowel then consonant then vowel we can get such many numbers this many numbers but also there is a case 2 possibilities of case 2 case 2 what if we start with here in the first cases i have taken at the beginning consonant and then vowel Th that's also alternate but what if we take vowels at first then consonant then vowel then consonant then vowel then consonant this is also the case of alternate isn't it so we should also make this case and here the arrangement of vowels arrangement of vowels total number of vowels we have how many three and we have two places to fill one two three so three p three similarly <coughs> arrangement of consonants equals to total number of consonants given we have was here consonant is 3 total number of consonant is 3 and how many places we have to fill 1 sorry uh, consonant 1 2 and 3 places to fill 3 so number of such arrangements number of such arrangement equals to arrangement of vowels into arrangement of consonants okay so arrangement of vowels is 3p3 into arrangement of consonants is 3p3 and you must not forget that in the vowel also there is repeated vowel in vowel here i'm scrolling off in the vowel e is repeated and we are denoting e with like q that is 2 so you must not forget that so divide by 2 factorial in vowel consonant also p is being repeated so we divide 2 so this will be our 3 factorial upon 3 factorials uh, sorry 2 factorials I am solving it you must use the formula I have just shown direct here into 3 factorial upon 2 factorial that will be our 9 so finally in the case 1 in case 1 we got how many 9 okay and in the case 2 we got 9 such numbers so therefore total number of total number of words can be formed in which 
vowels and consonant appears alternately equals to case 1 plus case 2 you that is our case 1 and case 2 that is our 9 in case 1 plus 9 is our 18 so 18 such words can be formed it is of the alternate case okay alternate means either if they if you start with the consonant then second vowel then consonant then vowel then consonant vowel either if we start with the vowel that is also the case of alternate so either vowel consonant vowel that is our two different cases and according to that we should solve it okay Thank you very much.